Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make a rocket. I was asked many times about this and I even made a quick search around YouTube to find some good tutorials. All easiest and most popular tutorials are dealing with firework type rocket engine. Usually this is a PVC tube filled with a rocket full with two end caps. End caps are made of betonite clay. One of them drilled to make a nozzle and inner channel. In my rockets I use similar methods but different construction. Here is a picture. In this type of rocket engine, rocket full itself serves as an end cap, and surprise, rocket full itself can serve as a nozzle, such construction called nozzleless rocket engine. It is not as famous as previous one. In nozzleless rocket engine, full burn not so efficiently, but it is compensated by high amount of it. This engine can contain up to 80% of full. It is interesting that nozzles rocket engines are much easier to build in big size. And goal of my experiments was not just to build a rocket. Anyone can build a rocket according to these tutorials. But to build small nozzles rocket. To make nozzles rocket engine as small as I can. So here is all equipment necessary to build small nozzles rocket engine. A piece of PVC tube 10 cm long. Little wood stick. A hammer. And of course rocket full. Simple mix of potassium nitrate and sugar can be used as rocket full. But prefer to use something with higher burning rate. To make faster burning mixture that is much more suitable for nautilus rocket engines, you can dissolve these ingredients in water and cook them with adding a catalyst, red or yellow iron oxide. See my video about how to make rocket candy. Link will be in the description below. Now watch carefully, on the left simple mix of potassium nitrate and sugar and on the right exactly the same mixture prepared by cooking method. The right one is much better and I will use cooked rocket candy for all my rocket engines. So I place a little amount of this rocket full into the PVC tube and begin to hammer in it. At first need to make 3 weak strikes and then up to 10 strong strikes, then repeat it with the next portion of rocket full. It is critical to take exactly small quantities of rocket full each time and hammering it with the same amount of strong strikes, then repeat these operations until the tube will be completely filled. Then need to make a channel in the rocket engine simply by drilling it on a little bit more than one half. I drilled very carefully trying to not damage the engine and need to make the channel as close to the axis as possible. Ok, now the engine is ready and need to think about ignition. The point of ignition must be in the very end of the channel. If you ignite it somewhere else, it will just burn like a smoke bomb, but not as a rocket. To ignite it in the end of the channel, preferably to use electric ignition. Another option is to take visco fuse or black match fuse and wrap it in this way by masking tape to prevent early ignition. This method is not 100% reliable, but it worked pretty good for me. To make the rocket fly in a certain direction, need to stabilize it first. This is the simplest firework type stabilization. Just attach a long stick to your rocket. The point is to put the center of mass behind the nozzle. And here you can see my attempt to make very primitive aerodynamic stabilization. I used hot glue and a piece of plastic bottle to make this. This rocket must be good for launching it from the tube. Now you can watch some tests of my rockets. Nautilus rocket engine worked very good. I found this rocket in 20 meters in the bush. This rocket was lost forever. Rocket engine works very well, just like a previous one. But my aerodynamic stabilization was not very good. Rocket actually went on spiral trajectory. And in this rocket stabilization failed completely. It falls after 30 meters. But rocket engine again worked good. Ok, small nozzle rocket engine works. And it is very easy to make. That's all for now guys, please subscribe, rate and comment.